Hello everyone, this is for Algebra 1, and it's the October 9th, I believe, assignment. Um, it's about when you're solving equations, and sometimes you get one answer, sometimes you get no answers, which I don't think you've seen, and then this one, sometimes you get infinitely many answers, and we'll talk about those as we go. So this first style is what you're used to. It's not that it has equations on both sides variables on both sides. Let's say I had 2x minus 7 is equal to 5. Y'all are used to this. You would just add 7 to both sides. So then you have 2x is equal to 12, and then you would divide by 2, and you get x is equal to 6. One answer. So I'm looking at one like this, subtracting the 2x from both sides. You get 8 is equal to x minus 4. And then you would add 4 to both sides, and you got yourself one answer. 12 is equal to x. Okay? Coming over to this one, what you would do is distribute the 2 inside. So remembering how to do that. So you have the left side is just 2x plus 8. And then you get 6x plus 10. And then the minus 4 is still there. I ran out of slate. I ran out of the tablet thing that I'm writing in. So 2x plus 8 is equal to 6x plus 6. Then you're going to collect the x's. So how about cut the 2x off of both sides? Give myself a little more room. So then you have 8 is equal to 4x plus 6. Subtract the 6. And you get 2 is equal to 4x. And then you divide by 4 and it reduces down to a half. So again, what I'm pointing out is you get one answer. X is equal to a single number. X is equal to just one number. And X is equal to just one number. Okay, so that's what you're used to, right? Come on. So looking at ones like this, okay? Usually I started by collecting the X's. So if I cut this 2x off and brought it over the left side, this is worth 0. It's not there anymore. Well, it cancels that one out. And you're left with 8 equals negative 4. Well, aside from the fact that I drew that 4 funny, um, how often is that true, that 8 equals negative 4? It's never true. So it means there's no solution to this problem, okay? There's no answer. It can't be done, okay? I've kind of always kind of joked uh, from a song from uh, long before you guys were born from MC Hammer. Um, it's hammer time. <laughs> and the line in there is it's supposed to be in our um, speaking and writing at the same time, and it doesn't always work well for me. Um, you can't touch this. So, hammer time. All right, now you guys are going to think that's goofy and dorky, and which it is, but if instead of writing no solution, y'all want to write hammer time, HT, that's fine. All right, so if you need to, go look up the song. Can't touch this. Hammer time. All right. <laughs> All right. Trying to bring some humor into a pretty dull topic. So, here we go 6x plus 10. Minus 4, it's supposed to be a 10. Um, 6x plus 8 is equal to 6x plus 6. And then if I subtract the 6x from both sides, you get 8 equals 6, which is never true. So no solution. Or if you want to bring a smile to my face, HT for hammer time, right? Um, no solution would be your answer. Okay, not this. You would write no solution. Um, I would say can't be done. Um, it, it just doesn't have a solution. Okay. Um, whoops. Okay. Now coming over this infinitely many solutions. Now what in the world would that mean? Well, how about if I start by subtracting the 2x from both sides? You're left with 8 equals 8. Well, how often is that true? Always. It's always true. So what does that mean? Well, let's try. If I were to pick, how about 
x is equal to 5 and fill it into the equation here and here. So that would be 2 times 5 plus 8. Is that the same as 2 times 5 plus 8? Well, of course it is, because the left side is the same. I'm writing the same thing on both sides. But 10 plus 8, is that the same as 10 plus 8? Sure. So 18 is equal to 18. It wouldn't matter what number I picked. If I picked negative 5 and filled it in, so it would be negative 5, and then negative 5. So that would be negative 10, and negative 10. So then you'd have negative 2 is equal to negative 2. I'm not saying that no matter what number you pick, you're going to get the same answer. That's not what I'm saying. Your answer completely depends on what number you're filling in. But what I'm saying is, no matter what number you pick for x, you're going to get an equality. You're going to get a true statement. So there are infinitely many answers. There, are, there aren't just one. There's infinitely many numbers that you could pick. All numbers. How about say it that way? All numbers work. Okay? Because back up. What this is asking way back here is, is there a value of x that will make the left side equal to the right side? That's what it wants to know. And it turns out it's 12. If I fill 12 in, I get 24, so let's do it, 2 times 12, plus 8, and you're, you're asked the question, is, there an, is that going to be equal to 3 times 12 minus 4? So that's 24 plus 8, which is 32. Is that the same as 36 minus 4, which is 32? Yeah, there is. There is a number you could fill into this that will make the left side equal to the right side, and that number is 12. Okay. That's what you found out. Is there a number that will make this thing true? Okay. And here you found out there is no number that's going to make it true. Okay. The left side will never equal the right side. It will never equal the right. There is no number you can fill in that will make this true. And on this, it turns out any number you pick will make this true. Well, stepping aside and looking at what this thing is actually showing you, well, of course this is going to be true, because isn't the left side equal to the right side? So that's kind of like a, yeah, now you think about it, it's like, okay, you're right. But sometimes it's a little harder to see. So let's go 2x plus 9 is equal to, distribute this in, 3x plus 9 minus x. So you have 2x plus 9. Is that equal to, combine my terms, oh, yeah, they're the same. They're the same thing. So that's going to be an infinitely many solution answer. So in your homework on Delta Math, it's multiple choice. The first bubble is, is, is you're describing how many answers you have. So one answer. The second bubble is no, no solution, no answer. And the third bubble will be infinitely many. And you're just going to pick which one it is. You're not going to state what the solution is, like x is, what is that? x is equal to 5. No, you're going you're, you're gonna to choose the bubble that describes how many answers there are. Okay? Infinitely many, no solution, one solution. Okay? Thank you for your time.